Well, this is the third tape, and I'm only going to put a little bit on this. There's no way I can get all of it on here and give background and all that. I will say this. The reason, part of the reason they won't tell this about mind control, but you can Google it, uh, mind control, MK Ultra. Back when I wrote a medical malpractice about it in 76 till they put antifreeze in me in uh, on April Fool Day of 80, and I should have died, uh, there were, I couldn't Google it. I came by mind information in part by a doctor I worked for. He was cardiovascular, and I found out that an implant, that's a heart, an implant had put been put in. He was head of a corporation there, and I put this on other tapes, the name and all. But you can control his thought process, decision-making. What more civil rights do you have if they take that? And that's been done, and I've told all of it. I've given names. I work for that. Um, um <laughs> started to say probably the ones I don't get a salary I'm in hell but I started to say um, probably the right anyway um, I was kidnapped let me put that in here my father's Edward VIII a beautiful man that they've lied about Uh, my mom is Claudia O'Keefe Windsor my dad was married to Georgia O'Keefe the artist her sister Claudia my mom never to this Wallace Simpson, American spy, an imposter, helped take down my father. It was orchestrated by Joe Kennedy, Roosevelt, the New World Order, Freemasons, my own Uncle George VI, who became illegal and signed all these treaties that allowed this to happen that are illegal. So now I want to, uh, and this is one of the mind control murders. They were done deliberately in patterns by this agency that I'm about to mention in here. Uh, so they can be proven. The Ferguson, Missouri. Um, let's go back to the George Zimmerman. Uh, the mass murders have included the Tucson, Arizona, the Sandy Hook, right next door to me, the Virginia Tech uh, students, 33 of them. Korean student did the shooting and then shot himself. He was programmed. But these were done in patterns. And uh, this is a man... Um, who is or what is a psychiatrist was the Fort Hood shooter that he was programmed and uh, he finished school at Virginia Tech went on to medical school I don't know where but he um, he was programmed to shoot and there is some other psychiatrists here that have had things well at least one I'm not going to mention that though because I've had enough pain uh, in all this I'm not going to mention it but I will say why does Dr. Phil, why do all these doctors on, well, Dr. Phil, you might as well say, because he's uh, got his degree in um, psychology, and I admire him. I still ask why all these doctors, not just them, where they put this down as mental illness, mental illness and mind control have nothing to do with each, with each other. And you have to stop the programming and the mind control. Uh, you don't give them a pill for uh, being schizophrenic or paranoid because they're not. So these murders were deliberately done in patterns. And this is, I'm Victoria the second heir to, legal heir to the British Crown. They kidnapped me in 41, took out my father, and my own uncle helped in it, Elizabeth's father. Joe Kennedy, etc. You should see what was being done to me in 63. I hope the world has to watch it. I hope I'm alive. Uh, what was being done to me in Huntsville, Alabama when uh, Kennedy was shot? And by the way, there was programming, mind control, to program the persons to shoot in these murders. Uh, the Warren Commission covered it up on the JFK because it would lead back to my kidnapping. But then you've got... Um, uh, Martin Luther King, and yes, they did know. It leads to South Africa or to Africa, which was a British colony. Um, they, and you can look back in history, what happened after my kidnapping, the Jews, uh, Israel, and you, the NATO alliance, um, the, um, well, I'm losing here, I'm going by 
um, not just NATO, the, well, anyway, I'm going to lose it here, not get all this on, and I can't do it again. My sons are Mark and Scott, heirs to the crown after me. And uh, this is Mark Kelly, and he's an astronaut, a twin, by the way, to Scott Kelly. And uh, this is Gabby Gifford, Mark's uh, wife. And that was the Tucson, Arizona mass shootings that were involved there. So uh, you go back to NASA where they took me when they kidnapped me and um, near there to Moulton, Alabama. Now then, in 1980, I told you antifreeze was put in me. I thought it was because of the book, medical malpractice book on mind control and Larry McDonald, U.S. Congressman, Doctor, John Birch Society, and the murders that were done there, Dr. Warren and Rosina Matthews, who were uh, pathologists at, uh, his, at the hospital there where he was, um, that was Piedmont, and then with links and ties to uh, Emory University and to um, Center for Disease Control. Now then, Jack Hartsville, after the antifreeze had been put in me, and God knows I should have died, it's a hell nobody wants to live through, and I've lived through a lot of it all my life, laws being broken, civil rights. Not one person has done anything to stop it because lawful enforcement's involved. So you see, when I was sit and watch in the condition I'm in now and to look back over my life and that of my children, and I think, why wasn't marching going on then, why all the options that these people had open to them to help me, and they chose not to. I don't know what a civil right is. So I was one of, Jack Hartsville was a reporter for the Huntsville Times. He's also an FBI agent, and later when I was finding out about being kidnapping and uh, kidnapped and who my parents are, uh, George O'Keefe's my aunt, and she owned Ghost Ranch. It all got tied up illegally. They got her power of attorney and all this. But anyway, Jack was there in Santa Fe in 84 March when I went through there, and uh, I was finding out who my father, King Edward VIII, I'm a legal heir to the British Crown, Victoria II, and who my mom and my Aunt Georgia O'Keefe are. Now, this is going to go out again, but this is a letter from Jack. And when they locked you up medically, or was that psychologically for your own protection, there was little doubt in my mind that someone was dropping the hammer on you for saying too much and learning too much. Now, I'm going to go to the very back here before I read, because this is on other tapes. Hope I haven't knocked it off here. If they tell all about this, uh, here's what Jack said would be a part of what happened. Uh, first of all, let me read who's doing it. Um, well, I don't have it. I probably won't get it on here either. Um, in quiet moments, I do try to make a grounded assessment of all the above. It's the dastardly events above, particularly as related to the FBI's Division 5. It's a secret police, and uh, so secretly it doesn't exist. exist. And that was there in place in the early 40s when they took me to Moulton, Alabama. Huntsville, that's where they were. And so the, uh, he's talking about the Huntsville experiences. But if they told it, uh, it would destabilize the nation as a whole. <laughs> they don't want you to know the truth. And obviously, American people don't want to know the truth. But I'll tell you this, the Ferguson... Missouri is part of it, and this was told July the 18th, 1921st of 2010, and can be proven. So I'm going to go back and put as much as, of this on as I can here. Um, he talks about MK Ultra, which you can research. He talks about psychotronics and uh, done at low frequencies. That's mind control and programming. Uh, okay, I'm just going to jump down here where he talks about uh, Nik Nikolai Tesla in the early 30s. All this information and stuff was uh, stolen from him. And uh, FBI, that's written up about that, um, had this all this information. Now, you're going to...